Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this cutest little bag. It's only uh, need to make that bag two motifs and one cordon. It's so fast crocheting and so simple. I use paper yarn and use 3.5 mm hook on my motifs, 4 mm hook on my cordon. I give all the details in the video but if you have any questions please leave me comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I made this bag for my daughter. Uh, I hope she like it. If you're ready we can start to crochet our little the cutest bag. Let's start to crochet. We start our motif with magic ring like that. I use 3.5 mm hook which you want to use, which number of hook you can use because uh, every hand will change the number with using paper yarn. Then grab your yarn and make three chains. One, two, three. Count as your first double crochet. Then add here 15 more. Totally we will have 16 double crochet. Two, three. I made here fifteen and pull that yarn carefully here and add here one more sixty. Then come to top of that third chain and join with a slip stitch. Then make one more slip stitch on the back loop here. Start the second round. One, two, three for my double, one for space. Yarn over, insert into the, this back loop again. Grab my yarn and make double crochet. I make here V stitch. Then yarn over, insert into the next stitch back loop. Grab my yarn and make double crochet. Then yarn over, come to next one, make double, chain one and make one more double. Next stitch, make double crochet. You will use only back loop. Okay. One stitch, make V stitch, one stitch, make double crochet only using back loops. I complete this round and turn to you. I come to last stitch and finish with double crochet only using back loop. Then count from here one, two, insert the third one, join with a slip stitch. Then make one more slip stitch and come to chain one space. I'm on the V stitch. Okay. One, two, three chains count as my first double. Then yarn over and make one more double in the same space. Then chain two, yarn over and make two double crochet in the same space. We make this shell in this V stitch. Now, you remember previous row we have double crochet. Yarn over, I insert the between of this double crochet and the V stitch here. Grab my yarn and make double crochet. Then yarn over, insert my hook now. This double crochet and previous V stitch here. I make here like X stitch here. Come to V stitch, make two double, one and two, chain two or one, you can adapt it, make two double in the same space, then yarn over, 
here double crochet first you will insert your hook from the left of this double crochet make double then yarn over insert your hook right of this double crochet make double crochet that's it you will complete this the third round and I will turn to you I complete the third round now join to the third stitch with slip stitch then make one and two slip stitches and come to chain two space this time we will increase from these shells and always make this X stitch one two three chains count as your first double crochet then add here two more totally three double crochet three chain two and make three double crochet in the same space one two three now yarn over skip these two okay here your X stitch from the previous round yarn over and first of all insert your hook from the left of these X make double crochet then yarn over and insert your hook right of this X here then yarn over come to chain two space and make three double one two three chain two and three double crochet one two and three then yarn over here the X first of all left of it yarn over then right of it that's it keep crochet as same as after this round we will make the same thing only the difference is we will make in chain two space four double chain one four double this time one because it's our last round then make again X first of all left side then right side make double crochet I complete after turn to you I complete the round again make my last X then insert into the third stitch join with a slip stitch then make your slip stitches one two and three come to chain two space this time one two three chains count as your first double then add here three more so totally you will have four double crochet chain two and four double crochet sorry chain one this time not two because this is our last round four double crochet chain one and four double crochet one two three and four yarn over again find your X stitch first of all insert the left side then yarn over insert the right side and make your X then come to chain two four double chain one and four double three 
three and four then yarn over on the left side double then on the right side double keep crochet as same as and complete your uh, one two three four and the fifth round okay then we will make a single crochet in every each stitch turn all around i complete and turn i complete the second motif and join with a slip stitch you can see that four double crochet between of these two groups make one chain and make our x double crochets it's so simple motif now chain one and not count insert into the same stitch here make single crochet I will make a single crochet in every each stitch and turn all around my motif make one chain in the chain one space one two three four here this axis here one and two then keep repeating your singles four here one between of them four here two here turn all around this motif i complete and turn to turn all around with single crochet now join with a again here slip stitch and not count uh, not cut my yarn now we will put them together front sides together like that put them like that here get the right stitch same stitch together here yes first of all we will take this loop to back loop okay i insert my hook from the back side here and take this loop to back side i hope i will take it to the back side yes now put the front sides here together you can see that we only use back loops okay left front loops here when we turn it to the right side it looks beautiful now we will put them and i will take first of all join here and make one slip stitch like that then look at here this motifs back loop and the second motifs back loop only i take it grab my yarn you can make single crochet take back loop take back loop grab my yarn make single take it take it okay we will turn like that when i come to look at here one two three shells when i come here i finish the joining okay that's enough this is our bags uh, opening part okay we will join one two three four and five shells together with using back loop here insert back loop insert the second piece back loop grab my yarn i have two loops pull through together and make single crochet i will complete like that and turn to you i complete my joining like that chain one and cut my yarn then hide this tail again one more time lock it and i will 
hide it later. Now we will turn it to the right side. You can see that. This is our joining part. It's so clear and I like this joining method so much. Look at that. So clean. So good looking. Don't you think? Now we will make a cordon that I uh, don't make any uh, thing into that. It's so little back, so cute. Now we will make it cordon. Uh, you need to left you double folded your yarn and left the one side nearly three meters okay uh, we need to make it so long because we use it now i double folded like that look at it this is second piece here this is folded point and this here this side is my ball side okay think about like that now first of all hold them together and make here a slip knot both of them using it's a little tough here it's a little tough but it's so yes this side my second piece this is my ball yarn I will take my ball yarn like that and look at it take this second yarn like that and make single crochet like I will fold my hook like that and make single crochet fold the second type like that make chain okay not single crochet only you will fold your second yarn on your hook and take this yarn like that make chains but you uh, fold the yarn on your hook it uh, gets it more thicker and more uh, it's have high, high movement here like that keep repeat it until nearly a little more one meter I will keep repeat like that okay F like fold it take this yarn fold it make chain okay on my finger, this is ball yarn. I put my hook on this, which I fold, double folded. Okay. I will keep repeat like that until uh, necessary size. Okay. I complete and turn to you. I make my cordon nearly one meter because I make this uh, back for my daughter. Okay, if you want to make it for you, for yourself, uh, need to your cordon more longer. Okay, you can use when you make a cordon one number big hook. Need to use. Okay, now I will finish again with both yarns and cut it long tails here
take my bag insert my hook from here take both of them take one yarn outside Let's make knots here. Carefully make them slowly because your paper yarn can tear. Now we will insert my hook from inside here. Take these both loops. Take them inside and lock them carefully and hide this tail and do the same thing the other side again. Insert my hook from here, take one side. Here, oh, I not cut that one to other side. One and two. Then insert my hook from inside here. Take both of them. That's it. Then hide these tails and finish our back. It's so simple, so fast crocheting and so cute bag. I hope you like it. Only make two motifs and one cordon. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time. You can reach me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest and on Etsy as the same name crochet with Gigi. Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.